I'm Karen Bashir, and joining me for this bronze medal match is Nikki Hunt. Uh, debuting at the Olympic Games, how important is this European Championship mixed team medal match? Really important. It's such an exciting event and can't wait to see it at the Olympic Games this year. Yeah, they're out, ready to go. Poland having a great European Championships. Turkey will be pleased to be here. Perhaps a little disappointed not to make the gold medal match. On target number one, representing Poland. On target number two, representing Turkey, Guna Joshku and Ete Gazor. Line judge for this match is Miss Katarina Gonchalo. So here we have it, Magdalena Shmielkowska and Kasper Sierkowski lining up for Poland. But shooting first, it is the might of Gulnaz Koskun and Mete Gazos of Turkey. The Turks came through ranking as the third seed but lost out in a shoot-off with Spain in the semi-finals. Can they pick themselves up for this bronze medal match against a game Polish squad? Mete Gazos to get us underway. Various wind conditions through the day here on this field. Looking fairly calm at the moment. We can see the big flags behind the arches. Well, communication immediately between the Turkish coach and the archers. The thing has been the variability of the wind. As Poland begin with a 10, a solid start from Magdalena Smielkowska, who's the world number 47 at just 23 years old, handing over to Kasper Sierkowski. So it looks like Koskin is going to be shooting the second and third arrows. Bravo. Great recovery oh. from that seven. to finish on 34 it's marked for a measure but it did look low so four point margin of error here for Poland in the first set oh, look at the tension for Shmielkowska but she gets a nine Beautiful couple of arrows from uh, Kasper Sierkowski and Poland have launched into a 2 0 lead here. I've got to say that Magdalena Smilkowska is very slight, and when she was at full draw there, she was really under huge amounts of muscle pressure, wasn't she? Yeah, I think it's probably more the pressure getting to her, showing a bit of the nerves and shaking, and, and that can show as, as, as if the bow's too heavy for her. But I'm sure she trains regularly and you know, is, is uh, strong enough for a bow. So these bows can be you know, various kind of poundage. Um, women probably shooting around 40 pounds, maybe some of the top women shooting up to the mid 40s, and the men a bit higher, mid 40s, even into the 50 pounds they're holding at full draw there. Yeah, we saw on the Turkish side of the shooting line 
that there was a sort of rise in performance from Gornaus Koskin shooting a seven first. But interestingly, they're, they're shooting, they're switching their order. Gazos kicks off and Gazos closes off. Yeah, I mean, he's such a strong archer, isn't he? Um, so he's just deciding to open up and close and um, give Koskin um, a bit more comfort, really. Well, here we go. Turkey down in the second set. 2-0, need a strong start to fight back here. Seven. Again, drifting out over into the seven, following on from where Koskin put her first arrow in the first set. It's strange, isn't it? I mean, this is this field can do strange things with the wind, but these two archers train here regularly. They, they should know it inside out. Bravo. Yeah, out the other side. So one low right, one low left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. She does look yeah, very nervous because you're even getting the little shake in the yeah, face and the, in the cheek and she's getting those arrows out very quickly. Perhaps a good idea. Yeah, it's good to keep the timing, keep moving and just get a good result there. Seven. Well, here we can switch back to... Turkish archers who are on, on 15 2 behind. Hey. Going left. Oh, the height changed over. Look at Mete Gazos. He just looks so natural with that bow in his hand. Ten, a 33 out of a possible 40. Another big opportunity for Poland here. Yeah, absolutely. If they can just keep them in the gold here. Eight. Another one high and right. Yes, yeah. and a beautiful finish. 35 is enough to take those two set points. I should have said high and left, a couple going high and left for uh, the poles, but actually doing just enough uh, to edge the first two sets here. Score's not particularly high, but actually the wind looks like it is, I think it is blowing, but it looks steady at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. See those wind socks down the range there on the left, both blowing in the same direction, which is good to see. Sometimes it bounces off the, the hedge and the screen there to the right and can come back onto the field and can show different things, which is difficult as an archer to then decide where should I aim. Look at hand position of the archer. You know, she's got her fingers really out to the side. Look at Mete's, just that 45 degree angle that we normally see. So just a bit of a front hand position difference for the Polish archer. I can't say that any one archer has really stood out here. Yeah. All of them have shot really good shots and a couple of spurious ones. Turkey trailing by four set points to nil after the first two sets. Going to this third set could all be over. They don't win this outright. Oh. Solid shot there. Turkey, of course, have qualified for this mixed team event at the Olympic Games already. This is a dress rehearsal in some respects, but they are being undone by a Polish team who have got no qualifiers. This won't be the team we're going to see though, because um, Koskin was beaten, wasn't she, by her teammate Yasmin Anagos in those quarter-finals. 
Um, so it will be a different team at the Olympic Games. Eight. Chances here, two nines from Turkey, followed up by an eight from Magdalena Smilkowska. Hey. Beautiful shot from Sierakovsky. Has leveled things up here. Big deep breath from Golnaz Koskin. 21 year old. Wants a European bronze medal. Oh, drafting into the seven again. Beautiful shot, but even with that 10, a 35 might not be enough here. Back to Magdalena Smilkowska. She's got an eight with her first arrow of this third set. What she can actually do with the second. Great shot into the 10. Pressure now moves over to Kasper Sierkowski. Got a lot of time. Going through his process, trying to keep it as normal and as regular as possible. Needs a seven, gets a nine, and that is more than enough for Poland to take this in three sets. What a dominant victory from them. They started hard and fast, and they continued. It's a little bit lackluster from what we're used to as a very strong Turkish team, though. Yeah, really strange. Um, wasn't expecting that at all. Thought Turkey would put on a much bigger performance. Came in seeded third, Poland 12th. But, you know, Turkey's job this week really was to gain those individual spots um, for the Olympic Games. It did that on Friday. And maybe, you know, the, the come down from that was just stepping too far. And, yeah, you know, I'd certainly take an Olympic quote spot over a bronze, you know, European medal. But what a week they've had. And we're going to see them again later in the year. Yeah, we certainly are, but uh, hats off to Magdalena Smirkowska and Kasper Sierkowski. They have performed brilliantly here. This will give them uh, a big boost going into the final Olympic qualifier in Paris.